What's up squash players? It's Pierre. Today we're going to take a look at an epic collapse from my game last week with Peter. This is the fourth game. I haven't watched the video, but I, all I remember is my epic collapse. So we're going to find out what it looks like and see if we can learn anything from it. Hope everybody's watching Squash TV. Pro Squash is back in Manchester. They're having their first tournament, men and women. It's great to see it back. And uh, so renew your Squash TV subscriptions. Get back out there. Check out the YouTube channel for some good clips. And maybe we'll review some of those. But for right now, let's watch the epic collapse. That's a good start. Oh, I played a lot. Got lucky he turned that there. Damn, good reverse. I'm starting to play better squash here though. I'm starting to hit those lines a little better. Oh, he must have tinned it. I feel like I need to stick that a little harder, but it was tight to the wall, so it worked out. <laughs> Building a big lead here, it's looking good. Good return. Nothing like a little back wall nick to really liven things up. tried it again and it was not to be the second time. Good boost there. That was the right shot for me to play but I gotta step up after it. Another lucky shot for me. Things are looking good. <laughs> oh. Too risky. He did a good job poaching on that stroke. I think my ball was just came off too deep and too far away from the sidewall, so he had a lot of options there. Good boast. Good. Keep it simple. And I get a lucky three wall nick. Let's look at my pretty pathetic deception here. <laughs> I 
uh, deception I think is more about showing one thing and doing another rather than trying to do a flick like that. In other words, I should have just, in other words, I should have just set up straight and hit a cross court with a delay rather than trying to, at the last second, I feel like that doesn't result in a good enough shot, which is why it came out and he uh, kept the point going. I got lucky to win it with that three wall. All right, that was the right idea. Good shot. My shot was way too short. My return to serve. Oh, I clipped the sidewall first, that's why. I'm not sure what happened there. I think I'm, if I recall, we kind of, our, our feet ran into each other. Good, good recovery, shoot. Good recovery by Peter there, running all the way to the back and slamming it straight as I was scurrying out of the way. <laughs> Oof. You got a lucky frame, frame winner there. one right here and I still have a crack at it and I dump it in the tin I'm even mad at myself on court. Why, why didn't you hit it straight? <laughs> God, I guess I'm worried about him poaching it, but in retrospect, I'm hitting it right back to him. I was just lucky that he didn't get it. <clears throat> Just tired there, I think. Fitting that I finished it off with a nice tin, a uh, boast into the tin, which I think I did three times this game. You know, actually rewatching this is, it's not as bad as it felt at the time. I, I thought that I was just completely collapsing. But actually, I, Peter was just playing better, and I was a little bit maybe worse and made a couple of ill-advised errors, but 
Uh, God, it was so frustrating at that time. I think I got to just stick with it as we're coming back into squash. Keep hitting it tight. All right. Hopefully you've enjoyed the watching the epic collapse replay, and I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, and everything else, and I will catch you later. Bye.